So another one is this one, which is a combination of a road light, a uh, road, and a pathwalk. So I did not calculate it yet, but if I want to really check or double check the pathwalk lighting here, I can just go to the, uh, there's another way. You can do it by outdoor lighting calculation like what I did here. So you can see I have pathwalk. It's I run it using the outdoor lighting calculation, like also this one. There's another way which is more precise because it will follow the standard. So go and check that one. Go to the street lighting. And then create a pathwalk and then run a calculation on that one. Say for example, I have here, so this is a default from Dialux Evo, it's only a road. If you want to add the pathwalk, just press this uh, road tab and then add the pathwalk or sidewalk okay let's just add one here and then let's just add a grass strip where we will put either our bollard or a post lamp okay if you want to edit the sidewalk say this one is two meters wide and if i want to make it 2.5 i can just say type 2.5 and then it will become wider and then if for example i want to use a bollard so there is um standards here for a pathwalk so make sure you selected the sidewalk here and then if you uh, want to actually clients don't know if they require p1 or p2 but i'm got just going to show you how that differs these two requirements or three requirements so just look at this one and this table and if i press the P1, for example, see the requirements becomes higher. It's 15 lux. And if I made it, for example, P4, the default, it's 5 lux. So it it's, it's, uh, varies on the standards from European norm. And for example, I go for P6, it's very less. It's 2 lux only. So maybe this is for the suburban areas where it doesn't need too much light. Or it requires not that much light because some dark sky organization requirements and if I change it to uh, SH1 I'm not sure I'm not familiar with this standard then it will become yes 5 locks without any restrictions on the other side so if I go P1 see the difference there you go 15 to 22 locks all right so let's go and try something for example i will use this bega post lamp just go and drag and drop here and uh, we need to comply the sidewalk let's focus now on the sidewalk not on the road uh, and we will comply for example the uh, p1 is too much it's very strict so this one this fitting is uh the highest pole uh height of this fitting is only three meters so I'll go and just edit it like say 2.6 for example and then I'll put it on the other side because we are highlighting the pathwalk not the road so I'll go and press this one and then you see it's on the edge of the curb so I don't want it to be there I want it on the grass so I'll just uh, offset it with as, uh, that is 2.5 width I'll say negative three meters so it will be on the grass okay and then the spacing I would say uh, say 10 let's try 10 meters if we comply so let's see here all right so we're still not complying oh okay it's only 4.7 lux what if I change it into five meters spacing Yep, it's closer we can almost get it oh, let's change the requirements into a little not so strict let's go to say p3 also oh, the requirements for p3 is 7.5 lux to 11 and we got 9.56 and we achieve the lux value requirements using this whole height 2.6 and then the spacing is um five meters Maybe we can extend it into something like maybe 7 meters. No. Maybe 6. Yes. It would be up to 6 meters spacing. And then we comply. You can see sidewalk complied. Check, check, check. 
And for example, if we want to ch to try the Vega, uh, the sorry, the Bollard, yeah, we can also do that. Okay, you need to remove this one because it will add to your calculation report this road lighting. Uh, you need to make sure that you uncheck this one because when you do the documentation, it will be added in your calculation report. Okay, so that's uh, that's it. You can run a calculation for pathwalk using an outdoor calculation like this one. Like this one. Oh, now it's done. Okay, let's see how it looks. What will be the lax value? Yeah, so I can see that the report says that it's a 29 lux, 29.8, so it's almost 30 lux. Ah, yeah, 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 wait, sorry, it's 38.4 lux, that is for the hor uh, horizontal lux value, and for the cylindrical illuminance, it's 29 lux. So if people walk to this pathway, they can easily recognize because the lux value for cylindrical elements is very high it's 29 last very good okay so you can see that the luminaire is pointing downward at maybe, maybe because of the spill light or yeah the spill light from this luminaire at the same time the bouncing light on the pathwalk creates this uh, 29 average lux for a cylind cylindrical illuminance okay really cool love it okay and then, uh, yeah, so you can run your calculation using this way. Yeah, you need to uncheck this one. I have to show you. So when you go to the documentation, it will only show you the sidewalk. There you go. So sidewalk. Okay, I forgot. I need to remove this one. Or can we remove this uh, roadway? perfect so yeah we can remove the roadway as well so but you need to make sure that this uh, luminaire will be adjusted again so click on the luminaire tab click this one and then make it zero and let's see where it goes yes so not zero so let's make it yeah, because the grass strip uh, width is 3.5 so 3.3 there you go and you can see that the sidewalk uh, is both check check so very good and if you go to the documentation it will show you that the pathwalk or the sidewalk calculation is there and it's complying all right so this is the best way to show to the client or uh, if they are not so technical and they want to see it by uh, visual then go for like this one it's more pleasing for the other people to see like this rather than those numbers okay because yeah some people prefer to see the visuals and yeah so that's it and if you want to grab my ebook Marcel I will let you know it will be just on my website and if you want to enroll in my Udemy courses landscape lighting design techniques it will be there soon so I will also update you and if you want to see the teaser of this landscape lighting design techniques go and check this YouTube video and it will tell you everything about that course okay so this the, this is Udemy and if you want to know more tips and tricks about lighting design go and visit my website nrocolightingdesign.com and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel all right so see you again on the next video bye